damn, I just finished reading Liars Inc. by Paula Stokes. Here is also the bookmark I got. Yes, okay. So, Liars Inc. is about a guy named Preston, Preston DeWitt and characters named Max Cantrell and Parvati, um, Amos, who are all friends. Yes. So, they start a company called Liars Inc. And then Preston needs an alibi to meet this girl online that he found online. So, Max helps him out because he's his friend. They've known them for a while. Preston never comes back when he's supposed to. Missing. Dun, dun, dun. There's this, the non-spoiler section. I'm now going to do a kind of letter kind of thing to the author. Right. Bye. Dear Paula, your writing was amazing. Amazing. Two beast. So, first up. In the beginning, I thought that there wasn't enough development for Preston. But now, after reading the book, I understand why. Also, there was development and memories of flashbacks. Now that I look back at it. But at first, I was like, okay, she doesn't want us to get too developed to um attract to the character but you know could use a bit more development but then when i read it i was like hmm nah it's it's good it's good i understand now so um there were quite a few plot twists and i have to say that i love them all the one about preston i being dead but him actually began when he was nine yo son and i just um i just whoa there were so many other spoilers, but just in case there are other people who haven't really read that are watching this, I don't want to go into too much detail. All the plasters that you did were excellent, and I did not see any of them coming. <laughs> and that's a big accomplishment because I am one that either doesn't see things coming or does see things coming. And I usually, for about half the books I read, I have a quarter to half, I do guess the plot twist. So that was amazing. Yes, 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 yes. I would have hated if I if I kind of guessed it earlier on. Like, I did guess something about DeWitt. Like, the father DeWitt, Remington DeWitt, killing his son somehow. Maybe for some blackmailing. I had some idea that there, there's something going on with the blackmailing and the killing of Pres uh, Preston. But I did not... Preston, sorry. But I did not see any of that coming. Amazing. Amazing. You are amazing. I have to say that the vocabulary was excellent. It wasn't overdone. Like, their vernacular wasn't too large. I mean, of course, they were, like, junior, seniors. So, um, makes sense that they would have decent vernacular, right? But they weren't really too, 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 too school obsessed, even though they were all smart. Because, um, you know, they had other things that were going on with. They were popular. Yeah. So, I feel that your writing was good because you went in-depth. You did good world building. And you also kept your readers on edge. As well as making sure that the readers couldn't guess the plot twist. Which happens, and when it does happen, it sucks. So I just want to thank you for doing that amazingly. I can't go into too much detail now because I don't have a lot of space on my phone. But I will be doing a review on Goodreads, which I will have you check out. And if you have a author email, I'll send that to you too as well. I will also be doing a review on Amazon, which I have not done yet. So obviously the links will be to below. But yeah. So Liars Inc. was amazing. The plots were great. And um, although I did feel there could have been more character development at times with Preston. I understand now why you didn't do that because of the whole big shabam blue plot twist that happens in the end, which I would not reveal because is somebody, I don't want somebody to watch this being like, mm, I'm going to watch this anyway because it's kind of, even though it's kind of spoiled, I'll risk it. I don't want to give that away because that was too awesome. Too awesome. Out of all the books I read, I've never really read something that great. So congratulations. Amazing. I'm glad I bought. You are all about it. You are now an autobiography author if I hadn't said that before. Sincerely, Wasan.